Okay, we are exactly two weeks post sand. And I thought I would just give you kind of an update of where things are. If you want to stay a little more up to date with me, um, aside from the videos, the videos are usually a week or two behind. Follow me on Instagram. Find me on Instagram. Link is in the description below to my Instagram account, as well as my Facebook page and website. You can find all of that good stuff there. So like I said, we're two weeks post sand, and I just want to show you how things are looking right now. Kind of give you a little more detail about what things are going on and what I want to do today. And I'll also show you what's going on in the backyard as far as the renovation project. So with that, let's get started. So I figure while I'm out here, I'll just go ahead and start and give you some shots of the front yard and show you how things are looking. The grass has grown up through the sand very nicely. And I attribute a lot of that to being able to cut as short as I can out here. I wasn't able to cut as short in the backyard. In the front yard, I cut it down to three quarters of an inch. And in the backyard, I was only able to get down to about an inch and a half. So twice the size. And there were significant differences as far as how things turned out back there and how, how we had to kind of approach recovery. So front yard is doing really well. There are some areas where it's still pretty sandy and the grass just hasn't filled in, but the areas are small enough to where the grass is gonna fill in and repair itself on its own. And that's what I really like about Kentucky bluegrass. It, was, it will spread, especially as I keep mowing, it's just gonna keep spreading and filling in really nicely. Now, as far as the two corners go near the driveway that I repaired, um, they're doing well. Still don't have any germination yet. I expect to start seeing the perennial ryegrass that was in that mix coming up any day now. But the one corner up here closest to the house is filling in on its own very nicely. I'm really happy with how that's filling in there. And then the corner down here by the street, um, it has, this is a much more dramatic um, fix, but I think it's looking good. You can see that there's bluegrass still that's poking through and, and it's gonna start spreading and filling in on its own as the new seed comes in. So just keeping it wet, keeping it going, and hopefully, you know, over the next few weeks or so, we'll be, we'll be filled in and back to normal there. And now for the backyard. The backyard looks a lot better and I think it's recovering nicely. I do still see quite a bit of discoloration. That's to be expected. That grass was abused, and I mean that. The things I'm gonna do today will hopefully help that out. Um, I'll tell you in a minute what's gonna go on. Um, but as far as the bowl that we fixed where we brought in all that topsoil, um, that's doing well. Nothing germinating yet there, but I am still running the sprinklers regularly. I'm going out there with the hose regularly and hand watering it. And again, I expect to start seeing ryegrass any day now. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll start to see some bluegrass come in and we should uh, be on our way there. We did decide to take the rest of the areas that were kind of heavy with sand, throw some seed in there, throw some compost mulch on top. And we've just been watering the whole yard. And like I said, over time, the grass is gonna fill in, repair itself, the new seed's gonna come up and it's gonna get back to the way that it has been in the past. The only difference being, we're not gonna have that big flooded bowl back there with ankle deep water. So really looking forward to that. Should be really nice once all of that's kind of filled in and should be good. So yeah, make sure that if you're not subscribed that you are. I can't believe how many people watch my channel that aren't subscribed, 90%. Um, lots of cool things going on here. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see how things turn out or if I just botched the whole thing. Now, as far as the plan for today, I wanna do a little more work to kind of restore the nice, consistent, deep green color that I enjoy around here. Um, the grass is doing really well color-wise, but when you're on it every day, you notice the imperfections and the deficiencies a little bit more than somebody who doesn't see it as often. So we're gonna try and go triple dark today. And before we do any of that, I'm gonna kind of clean off any debris that's left out here. We've been getting a lot of wind lately. There's an airplane up there, a little Cessna. We've been getting a lot of wind lately and everything just kind of seems to collect around the yard here. Um, there's also some mulch that's kind of left over from the beds that's kind of made its way into the grass. I've got a new leaf blower that I'm gonna to put to work today, clear off the grass, 
give it a good mow in the front yard and then I'm gonna go ahead and trim around the fence in the backyard just because everything around the fence back there is just really overgrown. It wasn't affected by anything and it's still in its normal state and you can tell. So I'm gonna go clean that up, give this a mow out here, clean it up and then we're gonna spray some triple dark. So let's get after it. All right, a little later in the day now, it's cooled off a little bit, which is nice because I don't wanna be applying this stuff in the heat of the day and yeah, it's just better. So I'm gonna go with what I'm claiming as my triple dark mix today. This is gonna be a nice combo mix here. Gonna mix it up in the Flow Zone Typhoon backpack sprayer and we're just gonna blanket spray the whole front lawn, 2,000 square feet worth. I've got two products from the next line from Green County Fertilizer. 700 Green Effect, we're just gonna get a teensy bit of nitrogen on here. 002 Microgreen, we're gonna get some micros, we're gonna get some potassium, just a little bit, and we're gonna get some iron from both those products. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit more iron with Sunnyland Liquid Iron. That stuff is a great deal if you want. I think it's 4% iron. You get it on Lowe's website and it's really very inexpensive for iron. It isn't like a huge concentrate, but it's just enough to give you a little extra kick if you want. So gonna mix all those together in the flow zone. Got the T-Jet nozzle on there, really happy to have that. And we're just gonna go across the entire lawn, gonna tiptoe around the patches that we're renovating on the corners. And hopefully this will kind of even out the green, um, give me a, the, the darker green color, something a little more consistent. Obviously the grass has been a little bit stressed out since we've done everything that we've done to it. And we wanna just kind of help get that color back to where, where we like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, spray it out. And then in the backyard, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a hose end sprayer. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the front lawn and then I'll take care of the back on my own and call it a night. So let's get after it. So I was able to go over the front lawn three times with this thing. So I went this way, this way, and then this way again. Um, this thing is awesome. This tip is awesome. Um, I will leave links to everything in the description below for you so that you can check these out. Um, I am still working on a complete review of this uh, backpack sprayer. I just got it. Not ready to do a full review yet but we're getting there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and triple rinse that thing and clean it out, make sure everything's put away. And then if there's enough sunlight, I'll go and do the backyard or I might have to wait another night to do the backyard. I need to get some rubber boots or something. Um, doing this in tennis shoes and jeans just isn't gonna cut it. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hope this was a good update for you to see where things are at. They're coming along nicely and I'm really pleased with with how things are going. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.